Monday, 29th of November, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer in this first week of Advent. You know the time has come. You must wake up now. Our salvation is even nearer than it was when we first became believers. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Savior, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, May we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the everlasting Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified 
through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, most merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 4 and 7. Psalm 4 Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble, then, and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when green and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 7 O Lord, my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me. Lest, like a lion, they tear me in pieces and snatch me away with no one to deliver me. O Lord my God, if I have done these things, if there is any weakness in my hands, if I have repaid my friend with evil, or plundered him who without cause is my enemy, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me, trample my life into the ground, and lay my honor in the dust. Stand up, O Lord, in your wrath. Rise up against the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my God. Decree justice. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated on your lofty throne, O Most High, O God, judge the nations. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to my innocence, O Most High. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous, for you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield and defense. He is the savior of the true in heart. God is a righteous judge. God sits in judgment every day. If they will not repent, God will wheat his sword. He will bend his bow and make it ready. He has prepared his weapon of death. 
he makes his arrows shaft of fire look at those who are in labor with wickedness who conceive evil and give birth to a lie they dig a pit and make it deep and fall into the hole they have made their malice turns back upon their own head their voice falls on their own scalp I will be a witness that the Lord is righteous I will praise the name of the Lord most high glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever Amen A reading from the Word of the Lord written in the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 1 verses 10 to 20 Hear the Word of the Lord you rulers of Sodom listen to the teaching of our God you people of Gomorrah what to me is the multitude of your sacrifices says the Lord I have had enough of burnt offerings and rams and the fat and fed beasts I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats when you come to appear before me who asked this from your hand trample my courts no more bringing offerings is futile incense is an abomination to me new moon and sabbath and calling of convocation i cannot endure sodom assemblies with iniquity your new moons and your appointed festivals my soul hates they have become a burden to me I am weary of bearing them when you stretch out your hand I will hide my eyes from you even though you make many prayers I will not listen your hands are full of blood wash yourselves and make yourselves clean remove the evil of your doings from before my eyes cease to do evil learn to do good seek justice rescue the oppressed defend the orphan plead for the widow come now let us argue it out says the Lord though your sins are like scarlet they shall be like snow though they are red like crimson they shall become like wool if you are willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land but if you refuse and rebel you shall be devoured by the sword for the mouth of the Lord has spoken the word of the Lord thanks be to God the Magnificat my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord my spirit rejoices in you O God my Savior for you have looked with favor on your lowly servant from this day all generations will call me blessed you the Almighty have done great things for me and holy is your name you have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly you have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away 
empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, that those who have received a faith as precious as ours through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. May grace and peace be yours in abundance, in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has given us everything needed for life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Thus, he has given us, through these things, his precious and very great promise, so that through them you may escape from the corruption that is in the world because of loss and may become participants of the divine nature. For this very reason, you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness, and goodness with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with endurance, and endurance with godliness, and godliness with mutual affection and mutual affection with love. For if these things are yours and are increasing among you, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. For anyone who lacks these things it is short-sighted and blind, and is forgetful of the cleansing of past sins. Therefore, brothers and sisters, be all the more eager to confirm your call and election. For if you do this, you will never stumble. For in this way, entry into the kingdom of the Lord our God and Savior Jesus Christ will be richly provided for you. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and it. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, 
and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, review your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. The first week of Advent. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty, to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Grant, Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside worship you without growing weary, serve you without failing, diligently seek you, happily find you, and forever possess you, the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. A prayer in our time of trouble. Grant us, O Lord, our God, ever to find you a very present help in trouble when we are in the darkness of doubt or perplexity shed your light upon our way when we are burdened with the affairs of our daily life lift us to the calm of your presence when we are battling with temptation and the flesh is weak by the might of your Spirit, make us strong to overcome. We ask these things through him in whom we are more than conquerors. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.